Well, let's talk a little bit about this Roth IRA because I know as you were probably you know, learning more what you could do with your money uh, as an NFL player and how you can build yourself, uh, build wealth for yourself, you know, mm-hmm. uh, investment vehicles probably started to come into play. So let's talk about Roth IRA as one of those. Can you just give us some 101? What is a Roth IRA? So one, I, I, I love that declaration of wealth. And there is a significant difference between rich and wealthy. True wealth is how many days do you not have to worry about money? And so looking at vehicles, we're going to talk about the Roth account today. That is the destination. That is the freedom you're looking for is creating that wealth. How many days, years can you go without worrying about money? The Roth account today has not been, you know, advertised or is not as common as, say, the 401k. The 401k and the individual retirement account, the IRA, are both pre-tax investment vehicles. They've been around you know, for a little bit longer, let's call it 30, 40 years, and they have been replacing the pension system and social security system as our main form of retirement. Why I stay away from the word retirement, and I think we should all stop using it, is that traditional sense of, of getting to a certain age and walking away with a pension and social security that dream is gone. We all have to wake up and begin to sit in the driver's seat of our own money vehicles. So as we look at the Roth account, it 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 approaches and attacks. Well, the 401k and the IRA gave the individual a great advantage. It said, don't tax me today. Tax me years down the road. I understand that advantage. Don't tax me today. I don't have a tax liability. Tax me in my freedom years when perhaps I can be in a lower tax bracket. What the Roth account did was flip that on its head. And it said, well, if I could challenge you not to look at the time and the distance of taxes, but if I could bring it to the forefront and say, I'm okay, I'm comfortable with you taxing me today, just never tax me again. Don't touch these dollars. I have a little analogy and a story to help clarify it. If you imagine yourself as a a landscaper and you saw three trees, my my family, my father was an attorney by trade, but he loved his yard. We looked at three trees and the traditional way to handle a tree would be to prune it and then plant it in the ground. And then as the plant grows, you prune it before you use it or before people come over and you have a party or something like that. So you prune it twice. You prune it before it goes in the ground and you prune it as it grows. If you look at the second tree, the question is, well, what happens if we don't prune it before we put it into the ground? Let's stick it straight into the ground, let it grow as big as possible, and then before the 4th of July party, that's when we begin to prune and trim our tree down. The third tree you look at and you say, well, what if we had this new offering? It was called Roth soil. And if you could trim and prune the plant, put it into the Roth soil, and somebody could tell you, you never have to worry about trimming it again, that would be an amazing, amazing advantage. And that's exactly what the three types of accounts are. Your traditional taxable brokerage account, you you tax it before it goes into the dirt, and then you tax it down the road. The tax deferred 401k or IRA, you don't tax it before it goes into the dirt. You tax it at the end before the party or when you want to use it. The Roth account says, I am going to prune a smaller tree, which we'll talk about why that's an advantage, and then let it grow for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, never having to worry about trimming that tree again. And that is a tremendous advantage for young professionals today. 